Hello and welcome back everybody. In this tutorial we will look at the new updated plugin structure for the Roadrunner 2023. So first of all I want to mention that there are no significant changes in the plugin structure, except that we added a new method which is optional to implement and it's called wait. Uh, using this method you can distinguish between the implementation of the same interface via multiply plugins. For example, if we have a logger plugin which implements an interface and we have another plugin which also implements logger interface, in this case you may distinguish between them using the wait. The next update is stop method in, in our general plugin structure. This method now accepts a context. So using the context you may gracefully stop your pending tasks in the stop method. For example, if you are using endure graceful timeout option from the configuration, and for example, if it's set for 30 seconds, you will have a 30 seconds until this context fires. Another significant change is, um, I mean, it's not very significant, but um, change into in the our init function so init function now accepts only interfaces so it's now it's not um, allowed to use a structures or uh, to be more specific a pointer to the structure in this init method so instead you have to use uh, interfaces so if you previously used only interfaces in this method you're fine so you don't need to update anything but still we have, for example, in our init function here, two interfaces, logger and configure. Previously, you have to use the same interface in both, like, for example, here in this um, plugin and, for example, in this plugin, for example, called simple middleware. Now you are free to, like, declare in place all of these interfaces. For example, if you need a logger, and configure, and you know that you have in your uh, plugins, uh, like plugins with these methods, you feel free to declare the interfaces in place without direct dependency on this plugin. To build all of these plugins now, you can use a Velox version 1.4 and more, like this. So you don't need to update anything, you can uh, freely use Velox tool to build your Roadrunner version 2 and 2023 at the same time. But if you wanted to use plugins version 4, you have to use all plugins version 4. Here is the minimum required plugin versions to use with the new Velox tool and the new Roadrunner version. Thanks for watching and bye bye.